Remember the Charlie Brown cartoon? What did the teacher sound like? What's the football coach sound like sometimes? What's the personal trainer sound like? What's the physical therapist, chiropractor, athletic trainer sound like sometimes? Because you're saying glute activation. Guess what they're hearing? Wow, wow. Right? They're awkward. They're intimidated. They're disconnected. I've built an entire career in fitness and performance and rehabilitation simply doing one thing, and that's pulling red flags out of a situation that were still there. I was just at an NFL training camp with, a, with an East Coast team. I can promise you this, once your bench press number goes beyond here at a pro team, they don't care how strong you are. They really don't. They care how weak you are, but they don't care how strong you are because it's not about bench press. If you can't bench press your body weight, that is a red flag that maybe something's wrong with your recovery or with your shoulder or with your mechanics or with your neck or maybe you got pain. But once you can bench press what they consider the minimum is for your position, your body weight, your age or whatever, they really don't care how strong you are. Manage the minimums. So here's what I've done when I get to consult with somebody who's been to maybe six other people. I don't assume for a minute I'm smarter. I don't assume for a minute that they drop the ball. I'm like, you know what? Maybe their standard operating procedure let a red flag through. They forgot to ask about recovery. They forgot to ask about nutrition, hydration, or they forgot to consider a movement minimum. So if I were to say there are minimums in movement, we could go down two different paths. We could go through the whole body and check range of motion at every joint. And we've seen some fitness models that do that. But range of motion at every joint does not guarantee movement, does it? A baby's got full range of motion at every joint. What's their vertical leap look like? Don't assume mobility is movement. But don't you dare assume stability is either. Because half the time what you think is stability, you're testing stiffness.